Hello, Michael here with another Renderman and Nuke tutorial. So I got asked about a million times how to do this. So I'm going to whip up a quick tutorial for you right now on how to export Z depth from Renderman and Maya into Nuke. Now, warning, I am no expert Nuke user or compositor. So the Nuke portion of this is going to be uh, from my perspective correct um, however if you've got any things that you think I could have done better let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to change them in the video with that said let's get going so we're just going to be getting the Z depth out of this image with our filtered pass which is our denoised pass if you don't know how to batch render make sure you go back and check out my batch rendering tutorial before you take tackle this one um, otherwise let's get straight into it so the first thing we're going to do is go up to our render settings and go to the passes tab and we've got the RGB AZ uh, output which is what we're going to be using just a single output I'm not covering other AOVs in this tutorial I'll save that for a separate one if you haven't set to RGB AZ make sure you've got that set now filter Gaussian this is our denoise filter which is enabled in the features tab and we've got that set to frame just for reference I've got this uh, at 64 samples at a pixel variance of 0.01 and I'm going to be exporting at 720 and when you're exporting as a batch render make sure you change the frame animation extension to frame dot extension all right so if that is all good we'll close that and um, also just so I should note um, I do have uh, the depth of field on the camera turned off so everything's in focus um, all right, so now we're going to jump up to RenderMan and we're going to click Batch Render. I'm going to pause rec recording here and be back in a second when it's finished. Okay, so the render has finished in a time of 3 minutes and 23 seconds. Um, and it has rendered out to, by default, your project, which is, at the moment is small robot slash render man slash, um, I just go to date modified and it'll show you the most recent one. It saves you trying to look through if you've got a bunch of batch renders going like I have on this project. Um, so we go into there and then into images and we're going to be using SR, well we're going to be using the filtered image, whatever your one is called. So let's open up Nuke. So here we are in Nuke. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is set up our project. So I'm going to uh, tap S on the keyboard to get project settings and then I'm going to go to the um, full size format and change it to 720, which is what my image is. Then I bring up that uh, Windows Explorer again and I'm just going to click and drag the filtered image in and we can close that now. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a depth of field on this based on the Z depth. So I'm going to over the bottom field here I'm going to tip, uh, hit tab and type Z defocus and that will give us this one here. Um, so to show you what the image looks like without any effects on it I'll just tap this node and press 1 on the keyboard and as you'll see everything's in focus you can see the license plate on that car which is an in joke from high school um, and yeah everything else you can see the backgrounds in focus the clouds etc uh, now however if we jump onto the defocus node and we press 1 again you see that everything goes out of focus and you'll see on the screen there's a little node point here that says focal point if you move that around you'll see that it changes the uh, point of focus and this is based on the Z channel of your image. So as you can see here the um, attributes for our Z defocus node, the depth channel is set to depth.z so that's generally what you're going to want to set to. I'm not going to go through how to set focus um, on in this tutorial, this is not a nuke tutorial necessarily, um, I just wanted to show you sort of what's going on there. Um, we can also use the Z depth node for creating atmosphere very simply. So the first thing we want to do is create a shuffle node. So once again tab on the keyboard type in shuffle and you get one of these. We're going to click and drag that arrow so it's connected to our read node which is um, for our file and uh, select the shuffle node and then on the right here you get the attributes for it. We're going to go to N1 the drop down there and we're going to go to depth because this is going to be the Z depth that's affecting this and then out from our shuffle we're going to click tab again and we're going to type in grade and connect the grade to the shuffle 
I'm just going to move those over. And the grade is how we're going to control. Um, so by default, if you've tried to do this and you've noticed that your Z depth channel comes out black, um, I could probably show you if I go up to here and go to depth, sort of it's just one constant color. So uh, the reason that is because we're using a 32 bit file format. format. Um, so the Z depth, the, the difference in value is very small. Um, compared to an RGB screen. Uh, what we're going to do is go to our grade um, and set our white point to say 50 for example. If I select the grade um, node and tap 1 again you'll see that now that you can see the Z uh, values of this image. Um, now if I change the white point back to 1, you can see that's just a constant. And you can get a little bit more value out of this obviously if you change that to a higher value. Um, you start to get diminishing returns though at a point etc etc. Um, for this uh, we'll just go with 100 for now. So we want to combine this node here with this node here so we can add some atmosphere into our image but still retain our focal depth. So what we're going to do is once again tab and we're going to type in merge. We're going to merge node. If we just chuck it in there the B will be selected uh, will be connected up to the Z focus and we'll connect the A to the grade which is the um, Z depth. And also if you want to do this as well, if you select your grade node and you go to node, you could use posted stamp. So you uh, can easily remember that's that, that that is for your Z depth. So back to our merge node now, um, we're going to set this to, uh, so next to operation, we'll go down to screen and you'll see that uh, we can now see our RGB again. And um, at the bottom of merge you've got mix so if you lower the mix down obviously you're going to get less of the A and more of the B as you increase it you'll get more of the um, the A channel which is our uh, fog channel and less of the RGB of the other channel. Now something I just noticed actually is um, as I increase the uh, mix towards the uh, atmosphere the image starts to become in focus because it's it's um, mixing out our Z focus. So what we can do to get around that is create a new shuffle node and we'll just put that in between the uh, the, the Z defocus node and the read node um, and then we'll move our Z defocus down below our merge and then that way, if we click the ZD focus again, press one, that's going to be connected to our view transform, our view um, node. And then we can connect our B to our shuffle. And this shuffle is going to be RGBA. And if you had a beauty pass, it'd be a beauty pass or whatever. It's whatever your um, main image is set on. So now when we set our um, mix lower, you'll see that we retain that focus regardless of how much atmosphere is getting involved. All the way back down to how it was before. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Now, like I said, I am certainly no expert on Nuke. I've literally been doing this for a couple of weeks. I just so, sort of thought, I've got the hang of this. I'll show you how to do it because so many people had asked me. Um, I sort of know how to do AOVs as well. I'll be covering that in a separate tutorial when I get time to record it. I just want to make sure that I've got it all correct before I do a tutorial on it. So uh, yeah, uh, if you like this tutorial though, make sure you click that like button so other people can find it on YouTube. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed so you see more tutorials like this, a couple per week for all sorts of things, just like Nuke now apparently and Random Man and all sorts of CG products. Also, if you want to stay up to date, make sure you have liked the Facebook page link in the description. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.